Okay, great people. Welcome to Technical Drawing Solutions. This is Ms. Roger Sopandi. So today we are going to see how to construct uh, uh, the plan, the true shape, and the service development of a square-based uh, pyramid. So the equation reads, figure 2 shows the front elevation of a truncated square-based pyramid. Copy the given views and complete the plan, true shape, and the service development of the truncated pyramid. So the first thing that we are going to do is to copy the plan. And the plan here is a square of side 40. So let me draw the square. So that is our square, and let me name it A, B, C, and D. So the next thing is to copy the front view. So for us to copy the front view, we need to draw these two diagonals of the square. line upwards like that. So the base of this uh, square base pyramid is 40. So I come here, this distance was 40 so I just draw a line from there to here like that. Then it has a perpendicular height of 45. So I measure 45. Uh, I measure distance of 45. That is it. Come with it to this side and mark there. So, as I do that, I draw the lines in two inch like that. And this one, two inch like that. Good. Then, at a height of 30, or at a height of 20, the cutting plane is there at an angle of 30 degrees. So I measure 20. I measure distance of 20. Then come with it at the center here. And make an arc there. And now it is that arc that I transfer to this side here. Then after doing that, uh, I'll draw. So this angle here is 30 degrees. So using it, I come there and draw that uh, cutting pin like that. Then I complete on what is visible here. Like that. So that is what is given on that paper. So the next thing, so I have just copied. So the next thing is to draw a complete plan. So for us to see a plan, a plan is seen from the top part. So when we see this 
truncated square base pyramid from the top. What will we be seeing at the plan? So we'll be seeing the cut section. So we'll just bring them straight because we are seeing this one straight from the top. So from this edge, we'll just bring that edge downwards like that. We come here. We bring this one downwards like that. So there is a place here by this uh, lines we cut the diagonal so we have these points here those are the points that are supposed to be joined with the straight lines so i just bring that one with a straight line like that i join that one with a straight line from this side here Join it like that. Good. Then these lines will be seen. So let me just draw them. Like that. So if you leave it at this point, you can get all the marks in that part. But also, in case we were asked, we were told that it's a solid uh, square based pyramid, we are supposed to put a section of lines here. So, whether you put them or not, you just get all the marks. But for beautification, let me just put the section of lines there. So, you find a question telling you that it's a solid square based pyramid, then you have to put section of lines there to indicate that that part was cut. That is how you indicate that part like that. Then after doing that, the next thing that you do, the next thing that you will do is to draw the Let me draw the surface development, then I'll finish with the true shape. So this is how we go about it. I draw a line that is parallel to this. A line that is parallel to that one. Put it like that. Slide it to this side here. And draw a line there like that. Drawing that. I come with my T square to this side. I draw a line from here straight to that part here. Yeah? From this part here, I draw a straight line to that part here like that. Then draw curves now. I stand at the apex which was here, so it was transferred to this point here. So I'm open it to this point and make an arc. like that. Come to this part here. Make an arc. So lastly, come to this side here. Make another arc. So the next part is to measure this distance. We have this distance AB. And now we plot it here. They are four sides, so I plot four. Four. That. Then lastly, we join them with straight lines. Apex, this side here. 
So we bring line from there like that. And line from there like that. Line from there like that. And lastly, the line from here. Like that. So now let us start following. Uh, this part is at the topmost part, this part here is the lowest part. So at the top part we have line A and B. So we have A and B. Then we have a slant, on this side here it will be slanting downwards. That is from B to C. From B to C we have a slanting line. Then we have a from C to B is a straight line. C to B is a straight line. From B to A is a line that goes up B. So we have uh, sorry, we have from A to B, and then B to C, then from C to B, then from B to A, like that. So from A to B, it's a straight line and is at the top part. So at this top part here, we have a line from here to here because it is straight. Then from B to C, it's a line that is slanting downwards. So it will slant from here to part C. Then from C to B, we have a line that is straight. A straight line. Then lastly, from B to A, it's a line that will be going up here. So from B to A, that line comes here. That is it. So after doing that, we will draw the edges in HB. We need them to be visible. development of that truncated square based pyramid. So lastly, lastly, we want to look at the true shape. So I want us to do it faster. This angle here is uh, 30 degrees. So the one that resides up there is supposed to be 60 degrees for it to give us an angle of 90. So from here, I just draw a line up there like that. From here, I draw another line up there like that. Then next, I draw a line that is parallel to the cutting plane. So this is our cutting plane. So I just slide it here and draw a line that is parallel to it like that. <coughs> so after drawing that line, I'll come here and draw a horizontal line that passes to the place where the two diagonals intersect like that. Then I come with my compass to this place here, that point where the line intersects that other line, then I come and measure that distance like that. Then using the same distance, I come here, I make an arc up there, and another arc down there. Come to this side, take my compass like that, using that distance there, I come with it here, I make an arc up there, and another arc down there. Then now I join. I join to get the two shape. So I join them like that. Like that. And that is what you call the true shape. But because we are section this part, we can also section here. Just got no harm in sectioning. So we just section it like that. And like that. Wow. So that is what the examiner required you to do. So that is what the examiner required you to do on this question. So it was an electrical paper done in November 2021. And uh,
that is what was required of you so i thank you for watching continue following this channel for more and more drawings thank you and feel most welcome we love you this technical drawing solutions goodbye